Hi, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to upgrade from Ubuntu 23.10 to the latest Ubuntu 24.04. I will discuss some of the reasons to upgrade to the latest version and explain some of the messages and prompts that you may receive while running an upgrade. So let's get started. So firstly, why would you want to upgrade? Well, the main reason to upgrade is to keep your system current with the usual kernel upgrades and core software. It's also important to note that general support for Ubuntu 23.10 will end in July 2024. And to make sure that we can continue to get updates and security patches, we should definitely upgrade. There are also some new applications and some new features compared to previous Ubuntu releases that also make this new version a great choice, such as the firmware updater tool and the refined app center. The quick settings menu has also had some updates to make things easier, as had the file manager, including my favorite feature of being able to paste an image from the clipboard straight into a file. So with all this said, let's now upgrade our desktop. So the first thing that we must do before starting an upgrade of this type is to back up your data. And while the upgrade usually works very well, it's possible that it can fail. And the last thing we want to do is to lose any important data. So make sure you back up before starting. So with that said, the next thing that we need to do is make sure our system is fully updated before we run the upgrade. And luckily, the update tool and the upgrade tool are in the same place. So let's go down to the application menu and up to the search box and let's type update and then select software updater. Now the software updater will check if we have any updates to install and then prompt us to install them. So as you can see, I have some updates, so I'm going to install now. If you don't have any updates to install, you can proceed to the next step. If you do have some updates, then click the install button to get them installed. If you're prompted to reboot, then you must reboot before continuing to do the upgrade. And when you log back in, just go back to the applications menu and start the software updater again. So now my updates are complete and I'm back with the software updater open. I'm being prompted to upgrade to the latest version of Ubuntu. So I just need to click the upgrade button here and then enter my password and the upgrade program will start. Now the first prompt we get is release notes. Now for me, this is blank, but that's nothing to worry about. So we can just click upgrade to continue. Now the upgrader will analyze our system and work out what it needs to do to get our system upgraded. If you received a prompt like I did here, it means that you've added an extra software repository to your Ubuntu configuration. And the upgrade tool has to disable it before it can continue. So just click close on this message and I will show you how to re-enable this software repository when the upgrade has completed. So after a few moments, you should see a message like this. And this contains all the details of the upgrade that is about to happen. So you can check what's going to be installed and what's going to be removed and upgraded here. And this is your last chance to back out if you don't want to upgrade, then you can click cancel at this point. So I'm happy with what's going to happen. So I'm going to click start upgrade. Then you'll get this message saying the lock screen is going to be disabled during the upgrade. That's okay. So we can click close and the upgrade will continue. So now another type of prompt you may get during the upgrade are messages like this. This one is just informing us that Thunderbird will now be delivered via Snap instead of via Apt. And that's fine. You can just click Next to continue. Other messages you may get may have a question in them. And if you're not sure what the answer to that question is, it's usually safe to accept the default. But do read carefully what the question or message actually says. So let's click Next to continue. So 
So now we're approaching the end of the upgrade process, the system is going to clean up some of the packages that we no longer need. You can check what they are and then if you're happy, click remove to continue. So now the upgrader has completed and the final thing to do is to restart the system. So just click restart now and we should reboot into our new Ubuntu 24.04 desktop. So here we are at our new Ubuntu 24.04 desktop. So the final thing I need to do is to re-enable the software repository that was disabled during the upgrade. So to do this, I'm going to go down to the apps menu and then in the search box type update and select software and update settings icon here. And then when that loads, select the other software tab and you can see the additional repository I added here. So you just need to click the checkbox next to it and enter your password to confirm the changes. And when that's done, you can click the close button you will be prompted to update your local package list. So just click reload button here. So with that done, our upgrade is complete and we can start enjoying our new desktop. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please consider subscribing or leaving a comment down below and I'll see you soon.